Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Tyler Ruggy. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video, we will be talking about pigeons. Specifically, I wanted to make a video talking about why pigeons actually make really great pets. I think a lot of the time when people think of getting a pet bird, they don't really consider pigeons. People usually just look straight into getting parrots. And parrots also make really good pets as well, obviously. They're super popular. In a lot of ways, parrots are more difficult to take care of than pigeons and a much larger responsibility. Not trying to downplay the care that goes into pigeons in any way because obviously you need to put effort into any animal you keep as a pet, but pigeons just also make really great pets. So I wanted to talk about pigeons today. This is Cooper the Pigeon. You can follow him on Instagram at Cooper the Pigeon. And if you want to learn more about pigeon care, there is a link in Cooper's Instagram bio about pigeon care. This video was actually inspired by a TikTok I made. Follow me on TikTok at Tyler Ruggy. I made a TikTok about why pigeons make great pets, and I was not expecting that TikTok to blow up, but it did. And everyone was just obsessed with Cooper and the whole idea of keeping pigeons. I wanted to elaborate more here on my YouTube channel and talk about them since I've never talked about pigeons before. These pigeons technically aren't even mine, they're Maddie's pigeons. However, I'm currently in our pigeon room where we have an entire room just dedicated to the pigeons. And since Maddie hasn't been posting to YouTube very much, I just thought I'll take advantage of the pigeons and I will uh, teach you guys about them on my channel as much as I can. Let's talk about pigeons and why they make such great pets. Isn't that right, Cooper? He's just chilling in my jacket. He's very docile. The first thing I wanna talk about, and also one of the points that was brought up a lot on the TikToks I made, so it's one of the first things I wanna discuss, is the stereotype that pigeons are nasty birds. People often think of pigeons as birds that are really gross, dirty, just pests, disease-ridden. And I think this is especially an idea people get who live in the city or go to cities and see pigeons everywhere because you often see pigeons that are sick in cities, pigeons that aren't doing well. Pigeons are actually very clean birds, not full of diseases, and pigeon rescues will usually give the pigeons vet care to make sure they're completely healthy before they actually go to a home as a pet. You don't have to worry about it being disease-ridden. Pigeons don't just inherently have diseases that they're born with. They can obviously pick up diseases from other animals outside if they're kept outside, but that's with any animal. And pigeons aren't just magically sick, gross, disgusting birds just by nature. They're actually quite the opposite of that. They're just as clean as any other bird you might keep as a pet. So the next reason about why they make great pets is they're extremely intelligent. I think a lot of people look at pigeons and they're like, wow, that is the stupidest animal I've ever seen in my entire life. However, they're actually very, very intelligent. So one thing that's really cool about pigeons, and this doesn't necessarily make them great pets, but this just shows how intelligent and cool they are, is they have amazing navigation skills that we don't even fully understand how they do it, but they can be taken away from their nests, like blind, don't know where they're going. You could put the pigeon in a box and carry it like 800 miles away from its nest and let it go, and it would just fly back to the nest. It doesn't need to know what direction, whatever. It, it can just tell where to go and fly back to the nest. They're very intelligent, isn't that right, Cooper? You're so smart. You're such a smart bird. What's also really cool about pigeons that you may not have known is they're actually domesticated birds. We've been domesticating pigeons for thousands of years, so they're actually not wild birds. They're 100% just domesticated. Even though people don't actually see them as pets, historically we've been keeping pigeons in captivity for a very, very long time and have been domesticating them over time, and people just eventually kind of decided that we didn't want to keep them anymore and let them go outside and that's why there's pigeons everywhere outside, but they're not actually wild animals. Now, parrots are actually more wild than pigeons are. The more you know, pigeons are domestic. Also, what you may not have known is pigeons are actually one of the most intelligent animals, one of the most intelligent birds. There's actually a lot of debate about whether pigeons or parrots are more intelligent. I definitely think that they are intelligent in their own ways. There's a lot of impressive characteristics about pigeons, one of them being that they can actually recognize themselves in the mirror. And there aren't very many types of animals that can actually pass a mirror test. Some intelligent animals that cannot actually pass a mirror test are like dogs and parrots, for example. But pigeons can actually recognize themselves in the mirror and understand that 
It's them and not a different bird. They can also recognize people. They can distinguish between different people in photos. You can also teach them tricks and they can bond with you. So they're actually really great companion animals. They will take a liking to you and you can teach them to fly to you. A lot of people, again, don't really realize this because they're like, pigeons are nasty trash birds, but they're actually quite, they're quite intelligent. They may not seem very much like there's a lot going in their head um, just by looking at them on the outside, but there's a lot going on in there. Another thing you'll notice about pigeons is they are not very loud. If you can hear Cooper in the background, he's currently cooing. That's the loudest they get. The loudest sounds they make is their coo, and then when they fly, it makes a kind of loud sound, but that's about it. If you get a parrot, you have to deal with very, very ear-piercing screams a lot of the time, and it's very constant. My African Grey really likes making the smoke detector sound, and that's also not a great time. Pigeons, luckily, are not capable of that. The cooing can also be pretty constant, but it's not nearly as annoying. It's very, very, um, you can just tune it out pretty easily. That was the sound of Cooper flying. That's probably the loudest noise they make. What's also really nice about pigeons is if they want to hurt you, they are going to have a really tough time trying to hurt you because their only forms of defense are pecking you, which I don't even know if I can make Cooper peck me right now. He has to be in a really stupid mood to like start pecking you. But the pecking is literally just like a little pinch, like grabbing your skin. It does not hurt very much at all. And then they sometimes will try to slap you with their wings, which feels like literally nothing. So even if they want to choose violence, they're still pretty harmless. And going along with that, they're not destructive animals. Parrots love to tear things apart and destroy things and pigeons simply cannot really do that because their beaks are very not powerful, cannot do very much. Another good thing about pigeons is they have pretty moderate lifespans for birds. Like a lot of pet birds, again, like parrots, for example, live 30 to 50 plus years, even longer than that. Pigeons will live in captivity. They can live around 15 years. This can vary, obviously, depending on the health of your pigeon, but on average, they can live around 15 years in captivity. So it's still a pretty long-term commitment, but it's no longer of a commitment than getting like a cat. If you wanna get a bird, but don't wanna have it your entire life, coo. Another great thing about pigeons, I don't know why I waited this long to mention this one, because this is probably one of the greatest things about pigeons, is you can make pigeons wear pigeon pants. Now this is also something you can do with parrots, obviously. You can get parrots to wear pants as well, but pigeons just look extra fantastic in pants. I don't know what it is about them, but pigeon pants are a wonderful thing. I talked about pigeon pants on my TikTok too, and people just went absolutely ballistic about it because everyone was like, oh my god, I've never seen a pigeon wearing pants before. You can get a variety of different types of pants for pigeons. We actually have a really nice array of pigeon pants. We got our pigeon pants from Bev's Bird Boutique. I will link them down below. Not sponsored, but Bev makes the cutest pigeon pants. She even does custom pants and you can just have her make whatever pants you want for your bird and it's really cool. They're really cute. And what's nice is you can put a liner in the pants so the pigeon will poop in the pants and you can just change out the liner. And it's actually very sanitary because there's a pouch that the poop falls down into, so it's not going to be touching your bird. So then last but not least, another great thing about pigeons is something you may not have known is they're actually very readily available. There are a lot of pigeon rescues that take in pigeons off the streets to rescue them for whatever reason. A lot of times they're injured and then they rehabilitate them and then put them into pet homes. So if you want to rescue a pigeon, then there are actually a ton of pigeons up for rescue. The rescue I would highly recommend because you can rescue pigeons from this rescue regardless of where you live in the United States. 
as long as you live on the mainland. And that is Great Lakes Pigeon Rescue. They're based in Chicago, but they actually ship pigeons overnight anywhere in the US. I will link them down in the description below. And if you guys want to rescue any of their pigeons, they will ship them to you. And it's also not very expensive. There's also Palomacy, which is a really well-known pigeon rescue that's located in California. But if you look on Palomacy's Facebook page, then people often post pigeons all over the place that are up for rescue, um, different people who like rehabilitate pigeons. You can also simply look for pigeons on Pet Finder and if there's a rescue near you with pigeons, they will show up on Pet Finder. If anyone's wondering where Cooper went, he just sank down into my jacket. Hello. So yeah, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Also, all of my social media links will be down in the description below. I will see you guys in my next video. And thank you, Cooper for joining us today. Oh, I almost forgot to mention another really great reason why pigeons make great pets is because you can simply grab them like this. Not all pigeons, I should say. Cooper lets you do anything, but you can just hold them like a little potato. Look, he's a little pigeon parcel. <laughs>